This was Awen, Deputy Fire Chief with the Solomon Fire Department. At approximately 7 o'clock this morning, firefighters, lifeguards, and paramedics received a request for medical assistance at Tide Park. They arrived on scene and found a victim at the water line uh, that had severe, it had been pulled to the water uh, by a group of swimmers that he was swimming with. Uh, he was suffering from very severe injuries. The, the fire captain requested an air ambulance um, to land at Fletcher Cove Park. The patient was transported uh, via lifeguard vehicle, the back of a lifeguard truck, to Fletcher Cove Park, where the air ambulance landed. Uh, the patient, what, the victim was pronounced at 0749 um, this morning. Um, it, was a, it was an attack by a very large marine animal, obviously a shark. Uh, Mercy Air personnel did per pronounce the, the um, Mercy Air personnel did pronounce the patient, the victim, on scene. Um, I would like to turn it over to Captain Craig Miller with where we're at right now. Thanks, sir. Right now, lifeguards have cleared the water. They're no longer letting anybody else in the water. We have closed the beach. We will have the beach closed for further notice. Uh, all the agencies around surrounding San Diego have been notified that there is a shark, a large shark in the water, and what has happened. Uh, right now, as you see, we have some air support. We're trying to locate it if possible. We're in touch with them. Uh, the sheriff helicopter is flying around now. And the Coast Guard is actually on their way as well. So further notice, the beach is close here. You heard that a swimming coach at the local high school. I've heard that. Like that. I do know that the local swim coach is here. Uh, they didn't say anything to me about that. Can you describe the types of injuries that you saw on the He had severe bite injuries to his legs. Uh, I'm sorry, what to both legs. Severe bite injuries to both legs. Was he surfing or was he... He was swimming with a group of swimmers. There was a group of, the, of, of swimmers out in the water and he was swimming um, with, with, with the group. How far out were they? They're about 150 yards offshore. And that happened and just south of the tabletops. We heard that this is a group that actually comes out every Friday and swims, so these people are familiar with these waters? They do. There's a, there's a, a club actually that comes out and swims regularly, and this is probably uh, part of their group. What can you tell us about the victim's age? Um, we, we've no, we've, we're not going to release any information on the victim at this time. We have um, notified his family. Um, they are en route to this location. We've set up uh, Solana Beach Community Center as a debrief location. Um, we have trauma intervention um, personnel at that location. They're up there with the swimmers and his family members as they arrive. What time was he Can you tell us the lesson? Sure. How many swimmers were out there? What did, you, what did they tell you about what they saw? It was approximately 10 swimmers in the water. Uh, and they said that it was a pretty violent attack, and uh, and they knew something was terribly wrong. We're hearing that he spotted it first and actually yelled out "shark" before he was attacked. I can't confirm that. I can okay. When was the last time you heard that there was a shark out in this area? I remember. I cannot remember a shark ever being in this area. Uh, we've been here for nearly 40 years. This is the first time this has happened. So. And what's the plan now as far as? Like I say, until we uh, further notice the beach has been closed, we're, we're trying to locate it. Um, we haven't been able to do so yet.